Hello and welcome back to Movie Reviews 101. I am Darren and today we're going to talk about Chaos Walk-In. Directed by Doug Lynham and from a series of novels by Patrick Ness. Starring Spider-Man's Tom Holland, Star Wars' Daisy Ridley and everyone's favourite villain, Mads Mikkelsen. Because, let's face it, he's always the villain in serial shows or films. In this movie... We follow Todd, a member of a small colony on New World, a place where humans have gone to try and save themselves in the future. And in this colony there are only men, and he is the youngest member, until Viola, played by Daisy Ridley, crash lands and sets off a series of events that will see Todd learn more about what's happened on this planet. Now, young adult movies... We haven't seen them for a while, have we? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Let's get into the free ups. <sighs> free ups, free ups. What can we give free ups for for this movie? <sighs> the dog is really nice, Sam. Yeah. Can that be one? Yeah, that's going to be one. Um, two is going to have to be... <sighs> As you can tell, this movie is not very good. And I'm going to really struggle with these. And I, I, I just can't think of too much I really liked in this movie. It's really depressing. And the whole point of this is to try and make sure I always have free ups. Uh, we're going to have to go with something as simple as the preacher character played by David Oolomo, who is a bit psychotic and it's very intriguing, shall we say. Um, I, he's basically is the best character in the movie because you just don't know what he's going to do next. He's a very loose cannon. And we're going to say we liked what could be done with the noise, which is what the men on this planet have. Something called the noise which makes their thoughts come to life. Even though it does feel like it's just basically stolen from what Green Lantern's powers are, if you can harness it correctly. But all the huge males characters have this thing called the noise which goes around them, so all their thoughts come to life. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's free. So they're free down! Ooh, where do we start with this one? Oh, God. The world. We're going to start with the world. It's called New World for a reason. Because new stuff's here. Let us see this stuff. We have one minor interaction with one thing. There's something in the water. And that's it. There's so much potential here. Even another Earth gave us something new. So, yeah. That was a big down. The second one has to be the fact that um, I don't think anyone really knew what was going on. Um, uh, the acting is not the best for people of this calibre. Um, the problem with it is Tom Holland is someone who just oozes charisma and his character is meant to be really dull and boring. And he, he try, He's trying too hard to be dull and boring when he's actually someone who's hyper exciting to watch. Um, Daisy Ridley really isn't getting any better. Like, she was fine in Star Wars, like in the first one. Her, all she had to do in that, she was great. But in fairness, this is just random girl lost in the woods and not much else. Uh, and the last one has got to be the fact that there's so much more to the story. And I know that the idea is probably to have sequels. I doubt they're ever going to get one. But what's happened to characters here feels like we needed more depth. Like everyone we meet is just like, that's a good guy or that's a bad guy. But, uh, any reason why? You just you feel that way? And that's what I think the biggest problem with this film is. There's just too much to cram into so little time. It, it probably would work better as a TV series. And that's what I say about a lot of movies more recently. So... Overall, I really didn't like Chaos Walking, 
um, I heard so much about it from people and thought it was going to have a lot but in the end I'm going to have to give Chaos Walking a 1 out of 5 this isn't good this has been a bad month for Meronium the first couple of days let me know what you think of Chaos Walking below and until next time let's just say enjoy your movies or at least try to and goodbye